Good morning, children. Today, we'll continue with our topic, equal sharing. So hope you all have done the previous exercises in our last classes. So today we are going to learn about division using multiplication tables. So we have learned multiplication in our previous chapter and hope you all are thorough with the tables that we have learned in the last chapter. So today let's learn division using multiplication tables. So division is the opposite of multiplication. Now here we can see it's 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So we know 2 4s are 8. Now we can do this in the division form also. So when we divide 2 4s are 8, the answer is 8. So when we divide the answer with any of these numbers, we have to get the other number. For example, 2 4s are 8. Now we got the answer 8. Now let's divide 8 with 4. So 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Here we can see the 2 4s are 8. So when we divided 8 by 4, we got the answer 2. And the next step, 8 divided by 2. So now we have taken 8 and 2. So we have to get the number 4. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So let's check this if it is correct. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So you can say the table of 4 here. You can say 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8. So how many times are 8? 4 2s are 8. So 4 into 2 is equal to 8. That means 8 divided by 4 is equal to 8. Now you can say 4 2s are 8. The next step 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So now let's say the table of 2 to see if it is correct. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8. So how many times did we get the answer 8? 2 4s are 8. That is 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So we can write the answer 4 here. Let's see some more examples. Here we have 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So we have learned 3 2s are 6. Now let's do this in the division form. So the answer is 6. Now if we divide the 6 with any of these numbers, we have to get the other numbers. So first 6 divided by 2 and we got the answer 3. Let's check it if it is correct. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. So 2 3s are 6. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Let's do another step. 6 divided by 3. Now we have taken the number 3. So the answer is 6 divided by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So let's say the table of 3 and find out if this is correct. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. So we can write the 2 here. So 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Let's see one more example. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. We have learned the table of 5. 5 4s are 20. So what is the answer we got? We got 20. Now if we divide this answer that is 20 with any of these numbers, we have to get the next number. So 20 divided by 4. So say the table of 4. 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20. So 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. 4 5s are 20. Next number let's take 20 divided by 5. We got the answer 4. So how did we get that? 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15, 5 4s are 20. So the answer is 4. So we can say that the multiplication is the opposite of division. Here you can see the table of 2. 1 into 2 is equal to 2. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. 4 into 2 is equal to 8. And 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So let's see 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Let's see how to do it in the division form. So we got the answer 2. So 2 divided by 1. Let's take any of these numbers. We have to get the other number. So 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 2 2s are 4. Well, now let's do this in the division form. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Here we have 2 2s are that is both the numbers are 2. So 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 
2. Let's say 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So the number answer 6. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. The 4 2's are 8. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 5 into 2 is equal to 10. So the answer we got is 10. Let's see it in the division form. 10 divided by 5. We have to get the other number that is 2. So you can see the table of 5. 5 1's are 5. 5 2's are 10. So we got the answer 2. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So say the table of 2. 2 1's are 2. 2 2's are 4. 2 3's are 6. 2 4's are 8. 2 5's are 10. So how many times? 2 5's are 10. So we got it 5 here. We have wrote 5 here. You can see that 5 into 2 is equal to 10 and when we divide the answer with any of these numbers, we have to get the other number. So this is an activity for you. You can take down your notebook and write this activity. So first write the date and write down the question 2 into 6 is equal to. So find out the answer 2 6 are. After that we have to do that in the division form. So 12 divided by 6 is equal to and 12 divided by 2 is equal to. So write, pause the video, write down the question and do the answer. So hope you have done it. Let's move on to our answer. 2 6 are 12. So if we divide 12 by 6, we have to get the other number or we can say the table of 6 and see if it is correct. So 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12. So 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2 or you can see that the two numbers 12 divided by 6 the other number we have to get it. 12 divided by 2 is equal to the other number 6. We can see by saying the multiplication table of 2 if it's correct or not. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12. So the answer is Correct. Hope you all have done it correctly. Now let's see. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. How did we get that? So for this finding out, you have to say the table of 2 here. 14 divided by 2. We have to divide 14 by 2. So we have to say the table of multiplication table of 2 and see how many times in the table of 2 we get the number 14. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14. So did we reach the number 14? Yes. So 2 7s are 14. So how much can we write here? 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. Or you can check using the multiplication table. 2 7s are 14 if it is correct. Let's take the next number. 18 divided by 3. To find out this, say the table of 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18. So we reached the number 18. How many times in 3's table did we get the number 18? So 3 6s are 18. So what's the answer? 6. To find if your answer is correct or not, again check it. 3 6s are 18. Did you get the number? Yes. So our answer is correct. The next number 24 divided by 8. So which table you have to check? You have to check the table of 8. 8 1s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 8 3s are 24. So how many times in 8's table did you get the number 24? It is 3. So you have to write the number here. So 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So hope you have understood. Now let's do one activity. So write down the questions in your notebook. The first question, 12 divided by 4 is equal to. The second question, 16 divided by 4. The third one, 25 divided by 5. Fourth question, 10 divided by 2. So pause the video, write down the questions and you can do the problems. And once you have done, you can come back. So hope you have done. Now let's check the answers. So the first question, 12 divided by 4. For doing this, you have to say the table of 
4. So 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12. So in 4's table, 3 times 4 3s are 12. So 4 into 3 is equal to 12. So how can how much can we write here? 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. The next question 16 divided by 4. So which table we have to check? We have to check the table of 4. 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16. So how, how much is the answer? 16 divided by 4? It is 4. You can check 4 4s are 16. Did you get the answer? Yes. Now it's 25 divided by 5. So for doing this, you need to check the table of 5. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15, 5 4s are 20, 5 5s are 25. So what's the answer? It is 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. And the last one, 10 divided by 2. So 2 5s are 10. So what's the answer? It is 5. So hope you all have done it correctly. So this is in your textbook, page number 69. Fill in the blank using the given multiplication facts. So the first one it's given 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Now what you have to do? You have to write the division form. So 12 divided by 3 is equal to. So the answer is 12 and when you divide the answer with any of these numbers you have to get the other number. So 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 and 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Without looking at the multiplication fact, you can do this also. Let's check the next one. 2 into 10 is equal to 20. So 20 divided by 10. So you can say the table of 10 and also check this. 10 1s are 10, 10 2s are 20. So the answer is 2. Here 20 divided by 2. So what is the answer? It is 10. Similarly, you can do the rest of the exercises. Now let's learn about the division facts. When a number is divided by 1, the result is the number itself. That is, when one number is divided by 1. So here, if 2 is divided by 1, we get that number itself. So 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. 20 divided by 1 is equal to 20. So this is a division fact. When you divide a number by 1, you get that number itself. Another division fact. When a number is divided by itself, the result is always 1. That is, if the same number repeats, we get the answer 1. So here you can see 2 divided by 2 is the answer is 1. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. So what will be 100 divided by 100? You haven't learned the table of 100. But when this comes, just think 100 divided by 100. The number repeats. So the number 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. So these are the division facts. In your text, page number 69, you have an exercise. Fill in the blanks. So here, the first one, 2 divided by 2 is equal to, so the number is being divided by the number itself. So what is the answer? 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So we learn the division facts, learn the division facts and do the rest of the exercises in your textbook. So that's all for today. Hope you understood how to do division using multiplication tables. Thank you.